to kill a DJ, me do him partial Jama nigga be prudential, now when me come G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here and welcome to episode number 3 of my FIFA 14 next gen career mode with QPR. We're going to kick off the episode getting the notica notification excuse me, that the Wanderers have accepted our transfer offer for Aaron Moy. Uh, so hopefully he will accept our contract and come to the Wanderers. Uh, but if you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, make sure you check out FIFA Queens by the link will be in the description. Uh, and we are going to get a notification now saying that Aaron Moy has accepted our uh, contract so Aaron Moy is now our newest addition to the QPR side and we are going to be bringing in Adam Smith from Tottenham Hotspur on a season long loan uh, we're going to kick off the episode with the first match of the episode being uh, away from home at Nottingham Forest in the championship at Forest Park Stadium uh, so hopefully we can pick up three points in this matchup. That is the Norring Nottingham Forest uh, side. They do have uh, Mackie who used to play for us and they have uh, Chalabar who has a lot of potential in this game. That is our starting lineup. A very, very nice side. Aaron Moy making his debut so hopefully he can perform well. And uh, Aaron Moy, he's going to lob it over the top chair there to Johnson. Uh, four minutes into it. Johnson, an absolutely beautiful strike. Uh, Johnson gets the opening goal in the fourth minute and Aaron Moy gets his first assist in blue and white. Uh, look at that beautiful lob ball there from Aaron Moy. Definitely going to be a great addition to this side. We're going to push on now in the 20th minute. It's going to be Lansbury on the ball. Uh, Mackie passes it back to Lansbury uh, in the striker. He's going to uh, take it past Cesar, but he hits it off the upright and it is a clear there from Asu Ekoto. Uh, now in the second half, it's going to be Barton making a tackle, passing it to Johnson. Johnson strikes it, but a great save there from the Nottingham Forest goalkeeper. Uh, Barton's been a great addition for this side so far, but Barton yet again is going to cross it in. Uh, and a goal line clearance there from Cohen. Uh, and Mackey, he is on the ball. He plays it through to Lansbury yet again. Lansbury gets past some terrible defending there. Uh, and a good save there at the feet by Julio Cesar. And in the 82nd minute, a good slide tackle there from Aaron Moy. Forced it. Go out of play for a throw-in. But we're going to make a quick substitution in the meantime. So we're bringing on uh, Anukua and Rhodes. Uh, and we're taking off Johnson and Dunn. Uh, Rhodes has been a great player for us so far this season. Uh, and I'm absolutely loving these cutscenes, guys. Uh, the next-gen graphics are absolutely amazing. I'm very, very happy with them. Uh, but off the throw-in, it's going to be Halford taking a long throw-in. All the way to Cox. Cesar rushes it. And what the hell are you doing, Cesar? He, oh my god, I wasn't even holding down Y when I was doing that. Um, and I don't even know why Cesar just rushes out and completely misses it. Has an air swing. Just, that is disgraceful. What the fuck was he doing? And that causes us to uh, pretty much lose the match. But we have one last chance. As Sean Wright Phillips is on the ball in the 90th minute. Only one minute stoppage time. He cuts back and gets tackled from Moy. Moy with a strike and a good save there from Dala, the Nottingham Forest goalkeeper. Unfortunately, we, we draw one all. Uh, we would have picked up all three points if it wasn't for that bit of EAAs that was displayed uh, before. But in the next matches, we are going to be playing Ipswich in the Championship and Reading uh, away at the Capital One Cup. So now that matchup against Ipswich Town... Uh, is happening. We are playing them at Loftus Road uh, Stadium. Uh, hopefully it is a good matchup. Uh, it's Switch Town uh, sitting in the relegation zone, I believe, at this stage. Uh, so three points here is going to be the most acceptable thing. Uh, and heading into the match, we are unfortunately sitting in 12th position, although we have not even uh, lost the game this season. We've had three draws and one win, which is pretty bad. Uh, but in the 41st minute, it's going to be Phillips on the ball here. Uh, he cuts back in the center of the pitch. He takes a shot, but a good save there from the Ipswich Town Keeper as it comes back out to Moy. Aaron Moy is on the ball. Uh, he cuts back in and yet again takes a shot and another great save there from the Ipswich Keeper. We are, we are unlucky not to be in the lead in this matchup. Just look at this on the replay. A beautiful uh, shot there from Moy, curving away from the Keeper. An excellent save, though. Uh, and Barton, he's going to cross it in there to Shah. Uh, it's going to be a great header there from Anuchua. Uh, and it just goes over the post. Uh, and off the, uh, in the 59th minute, it's going to be Bobby Zamora playing it through to Jordan Rhodes. Uh, Jordan Rhodes is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And what a strike there from Jordan Rhodes, the Scottish man. Gives us a 1-0 advantage. What a beautiful, beautiful strike there from Jordan Rhodes. Uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we bought him. 
excellent, excellent stuff. Just look at this yet again. He gets first times. So that is a world-class finish there from Jordan Rhodes. Uh, and the man currently playing for Blackburn gives us a 1-0 lead. Nothing the keeper could do about that. Absolutely ecstatic. Uh, I cannot believe uh, how well Jordan Rhodes has been playing for us this season. And that goal just solidifies my claims uh, and gives reason as to why I did pick him up uh, in the summer transfer window. So that is Jordan Rhodes' second goal in the championship this season. But he's got plenty more to come. Uh, and off the kickoff now, uh, we're going to progress through to the 87th minute where Stoppola Camp, I believe that's pronounced, is on the ball here for Ipswich Town. Uh, he's going to cross it into Hunt, uh, and all, Julio Cesar almost fails yet again like he did against Nottingham Forest, but fortunately, uh, the striker wasn't able to capitalize on uh, Cesar's mistake. Uh, but it is crossed now to Vesely, and a pretty bad headed attempt there from the Ipswich Town player. Uh, so right now, we're going to push on as Cesar kicks it away. It's in stoppage time. It's cleared back to the keeper, Loach. Uh, hits it straight up to Jordan Rhodes. Jordan Rhodes has it to Farlin, uh, and Farlin, he is on the ball. The Argentine cuts back in the center of the pitch. Has a shot. It's a bit too far to the right-hand side, unfortunately. Uh, but luckily for us, that is going to be full-time. We pick up all three points. 1-0 against Ipswich Town. We would have hoped for a bigger scoreline, a big, uh, to increase our goal difference, but I'm just happy to be picking up the uh, three points. I'm finding it very, very difficult to uh, score goals in this. And it is transfer deadline day. You might be wondering why I'm bringing Aaron Calver in on loan. He's only like 54 overall. This guy actually went to high school, uh, the same high school in the same area that I do. He went to high school with my sister. Uh, so he is a player. I remember when he made his debut for Sydney against Perth. Uh, I was very excited to find out how he went to a high school near me. Uh, and we need a backup centre back to just play occasionally in cup games. So I thought, why not bring in Aaron Calvo? It makes a bit of a, it makes it a bit more personal for me, I suppose. Uh, even though I've never met the bloke, still want to give him a good future in football. <laughs> uh, but it is the start of the month as the transfer uh, window has closed. It is now the start of October. Of October, excuse me, I believe it is. Uh, so that is the squad report. A lot of players are growing quite nicely. A lot are, dec are decreasing as we have a, a very old squad, I suppose. Uh, but the final match of the episode is a Capital One Cup Round 2 fixture, I think it is, uh, against Reading, a team who was uh, relegated with us in the, from the Premier League last season, so it's going to be a very difficult matchup. We are away from home as well, so we don't have our home fans to back us. Uh, but we're going to push on into the game after this uh, cutscene. I, I just love the cutscene, guys, in uh, in this uh, next-gen career mode. It is just amazing. Uh, but it's going to be Williams on the ball now for Redding. And he gets Redding off to the perfect start in the fourth minute, slotting it past Cesar, uh, who hasn't really been keeping that great for us. He hasn't let in many goals for us, uh, but... um. He just not, he's not making many saves, unfortunately, so we are down 1-0 early on this match. Hopefully, we can come back uh, and extend the lead. We'll get, pick up the lead, but um, at the second, it's not looking too likely. But Aaron Moy, he passed it to Joey Barton. Joey Barton's on the ball. He passes it to Rhodes. Rhodes to Moy. Moy with the shot, and he just misses it to the left-hand side. Very, very unlucky stuff there for Aaron Moy. It's going to be Austin now. Austin's going to regain possession in the 55th minute. Uh, he gets fouled inside the box, trips over his own feet, and it got given a penalty. Uh, very, very good stuff. That can give us a get-out-of-jail-free uh, card, and we can get a penalty here after we make a substitution. Uh, but that is just that is just uh, unlucky there for the Reading defender. But we're going to take it every day of the week. It's going to be Austin stepping up, even though in a second I'm going to change it to Broods because he has a better penalty stat. Uh, but these cutscenes, yet again, I'm going to say, they're just freaking superb, guys. I absolutely love them. But uh, let's get back to the gameplay. Rhodes, he's going to step up. He's going to smash it left. The keeper staying still. And we are now at a one or scoreline. Hopefully, we can pick up another goal. Otherwise, we're going to be going to extra time. And if not, we'll be going to penalties. An absolutely crazy match. So it was, it was very intense to play. Uh, but Rhodes, he's going to cut back in the center of the pitch in the 64th minute. Lays it off to Matt Phillips. Matt Phillips in the 65th minute, running up the wing past Pierce, uh, goes into the center of the pitch. He's going to unleash a shot, but absolutely fluffs that opportunity, uh, smashing it too far to the left. But uh, Jordan Rhodes is on the ball yet again. He's going to pass it through to Forland. The Argentine is on the ball. He gets back in the center of the pitch. He's going to try smashing it off the left, and he just misses by a bee's penis. A bit of a Pepsi FIFA reference there. Uh, but we're going to push on now. It's going to be Jordan Rhodes passing it to Forland. Uh, Forland, he is going to be looking looking for a man to give him some support. 
Uh, there's nobody there for him at the moment. Uh, but now there is as he crossed it into Austin. Austin with the header. And oh, he just misses it to the right-hand side. Unlucky stuff there for Austin. Missing it by a matter of centimetres. Uh, I was... Oh, I remember playing this and I was... I was on the edge of my seat. I could not believe that he missed that. Uh, but we are going to be going into extra time, ladies and gentlemen. It finishes one all. Uh, and since it is a knockout competition, we're going to be going on to extra time. Hopefully, we can pick up a winner. Uh, but it is Rhodes passing it to Wright Phillips. Back to Kranikar. And Austin, what a miss. How did he miss that? That is worse than Torres. An open opportunity. And he smashes it over the crossbar. What the actual fuck. That is crazy. But, uh, right, Phillips, a good tackle, a good save there, excuse me. Phillips rings the ball back. Uh, he plays it through two roads. Rhodes takes a shot, a good save. And he right. oh my god, double off the post. This is just so unlucky. We could be four goals ahead by now. And we haven't even scored one. We're in the second half of extra time. Right, Phillips. He's going to lob it over the top two. Austin. Austin gets the ball. And what a finish there from Austin, giving us the late lead. 2-1 in the 109th minute. Austin making up for his poor, poor finishing earlier on in the match. He's made so many mistakes in this match. But the main thing, the most important thing, is he gets this late winner for us. We're going to be pushing on to the next round of the FA Cup, hopefully, guys. Or well, the Capital One Cup, excuse me. Uh, but we still got to defend for these last few minutes. It is Drentha on the ball, getting tackled there from Scar Shah. And then Shah, another tackle. Back to Drentha. And he, oh, he just missed it to the left-hand side. Thank the Lord. Oh my, oh my god, I was crapping my pants at that stage, but we do win 2-1 against Reading in the Capital One Cup, they are now eliminated, we push on to the next round of the FA Cup, uh, Capital One Cup, excuse me, absolutely beautiful stuff, but at the, end, at the end of the episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are sitting in 6th position, uh, ahead of... Uh, ahead of, well, we, we've moved up a fair bit in the ladder, but it's now time to figure out the Loftus Road medalist votes, uh, so in the first game against Nottingham Forest, uh, I did give three points to Aaron Moy, two points to Johnson, one point to Dunn, and then in the match against Ipswich, I gave three points to Rhodes, two points to Moy, one point to Unwaha. I can't even pronounce it. Unwaha. I'm gonna fluff that pronunciation up all series long. I can tell. Uh, but then in the match against Reading, I gave three points to Sean Wright Phillips. Two points to Matt Phillips and one point to Jordan Rhodes. Uh, so in the end of the episode, uh, our players that are... Well, this is how the medal standings are looking at the moment. So uh, in first position, we have Jordan Rhodes on eight points. We have Joey Barton in second on seven points. Aaron Moy in third with five points. Austin in fourth with three points. Hoylet with three points. Cesar with three points. And... Sean, right? Phillips with three points. Uh, but guys, that's how we're going to end the episode. It has been Jared HD here with episode number three of season one of my QPR career mode series. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you smack the like button. Hopefully you can get 20 plus likes. That would be awesome. Uh, but most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace. Vulture.